makes sense. Xbox controller. Holy Jesus! Super Nintendo controller! The hell is this? Hey guys, it's Nate Plays. Now, if you don't know me, then you don't know that I have an obsession with retro game consoles. Don't own any, it's just, I find them very interesting. Um, so, one of the things I find most interesting about them is the controllers. Now, obviously, modern controllers, dual joysticks, thighs, but old controllers like this, which isn't actually old, it's a rip-off uh, USB one by Raspberry Pi for the Raspberry Pi. Don't have thighs. And no analog sticks and one pair of shoulder buttons so i thought we could take a bit more of a look into re this retro esque controller since i have one that hasn't been opened um and yeah Quick disclaimer before we get into the video, the controller I am unboxing is definitely not Nintendo licensed, it's made by Raspberry Pi, for the Raspberry Pi, obviously, so um, they're very easy to get your hands on, just give us the Raspberry Pi website, um, which I realised I couldn't find um, during editing, so it's not in the description, but... It should be easy enough to find. Who am I kidding? I, I couldn't find it. Why could you uh, trust yourself? I'm definitely not too lazy to put it in my description. Now, guys, looking at the packaging, it was taped shut, but I cut that open. Um, it's just in a cardboard box. Nothing else. It says the Pi Hut USB game controller. There's the link there, if the camera will focus. www.pihut.com Now, it does say compatible with Raspberry Pi, Android, Windows, and Penguin. I don't know what that is, I'm just calling it Penguin. So, let's get into the unboxing. So guys, um... Yeah, um, just so you know, um, it doesn't have anything on the back of the box. Didn't miss anything there. Um, so, let's just open it, really. Obviously, um, for some reason, when I saw this, I thought I had two extra controllers. Just the box. So, yeah. Um, when you open it up, you have the controller in. So, let's get this out. It doesn't come out... As you can see, it's the wires behind this bit of plastic. Sorry. So, as you can see, the wires behind this bit of cardboard, not plastic. So, yeah. So, it's now completely out of the box. So, as you can see, it is USB port so you can try to plug this in the console it won't work because as you remember it's only compatible with these things um but as you see um it's got the shoulder buttons like the SNES um and when looking at the way the buttons are placed, it's like a normal Nintendo controller. But the way the buttons feel is a bit weird. They're not smooth, but they're not curved. Like, when you feel them, you feel the edge 
Um, and I don't really like that. I like the edge is a little bit sharp. The edge of the buttons feel sharp. So if they could um have sanded that down or softened it, um it would have felt better. Um and the A and the Y buttons go down perfectly. Actually refeeling it. Um the X and the Y buttons I prefer. The A and the B buttons are soft-ish. Like, they go down easily. But as you can see from the side, the A button is a bit lower than the rest of the buttons, which I don't really like. Obviously, you got Start and Select, which are rubberized plastic. They go down easily. They feel quite nice. Like, after you're done playing a game, I don't think you really want to play a game with this, considering not many games would be usable with a controller like this on an Android or a Windows. And I've tried it with the Raspberry Pi. No, no. Oh, and by the way, I haven't opened this before, just so you know how I've tried it. I have another one. So, yeah. Um, but getting back to it, um, because the buttons are a very plastic and the D-pad looks like it would be, it has a very similar look. It's not. It's not rubber plastic, it's hard plastic like the buttons. And it actually feels really nice in your hand. Um, the D-pad is probably the best thing about this controller, apart from the fact it looks like a SNES controller. Um, and I think the D-pad's um, good, like very good. So if we compare it to the D-pad of an Xbox controller, I really should be comparing it to an original SNES controller, but I don't have that. Um, it definitely feels more clicky, more like a Nintendo game pad, D-pad. Um, and this one is just, um, I'd probably take this D-pad over this one. It just feels better, but the thing this one has the advantage is the way it's dented, so your thumb just kind of falls into it. And though this one could be kind of dented because the lips of the D pad are heightened, um, it it's, it doesn't really um, compare. But altogether, the D pad is really good. I really like the D-pad. Shoulder buttons, bit clicky. But then, it really just, like, you, your, your fingers go around the curve very well. And the shoulder buttons are placed perfectly. I know it's the designer of the SNES controller, but I think they did well because when your fingers like that, you need just something easy to press down not anything too hard and i'm glad they didn't try to add dual um dual shoulder buttons or else they then they would have had stumpy bits here which would be a bit more of a reach and would make it a lot less comfortable and yeah obviously it's a wired controller wouldn't expect to be wireless considering what it's compatible with and I think it's good, apart from the fact that when you hold it like this, you don't really hold it. Actually, I guess you could, because I'm holding it like this, thumb on A, but I've heard most people hold it with on X and A, or on Y and B, um, and now I'm trying that, it's a lot more comfortable. Um, so, yeah. Um... Would I say, um, to get this controller, if you have games that you could use with this on Raspberry Pi Windows 
or Android or that penguin looking thing. Yeah, it's good. Um, it, the buttons all around are good. Some of them are a little bit iffy. Um, mainly the A button, which feels a bit soft. Um, but then you don't want something too hard on the A button because that is most likely going to be the one you're pressing most. So I do recommend this controller. It will be nice to use. It just fits into your hands perfectly. The D-pad is outstanding. And without further ado, I will see you guys next time. And...